What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Junior, aka Semi, and welcome to Semi 2 Tech, the channel that brings you everything from product reviews, tech reviews, app reviews, all the way to live streaming and live gaming and everything else in between. So, if you like all that stuff plus more, then stay tuned to the channel. And before we get started with this great new video, if you haven't done so already, right here, the subscribe button right here, click on that. And once you click on that, you make sure you click right next to it, the little bell right here. Enable bell notifications so you get notified for every single video I come out with and or anything I come out else I come out with. As well as don't forget to like the video there and share it to your all your social media platforms. All right, guys, thanks for coming back. I do appreciate all the love and support you guys show the channel. Remember, I want to continue supporting the channel. All you got to do is like all my videos, share my videos, comment on all my videos, and if you still haven't done so, hit the subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified every time I drop great videos like this one or when I go live. And trust me, guys, you never ever want to miss a thing. All right, guys, so today on this video, I'm going to be pretty simple and easy to do is I'm going to show you how to get the APKs installed on your device by using my website and downloader. That simple, guys. That's how easy it is. You don't have to use file link anymore. I'm probably going to just completely delete my file link completely or just leave it there, but not update it. It's up to you which way you want to use it, but it's not going to be updated anymore. I'm going to be strictly using my website to use all my APKs. So I'm going to show you how to install it on your devices, guys. That's simple. It's very easy. First thing you want to do is get on your device, whether it be your Android device, your Amazon device, any device that take APK, we're going to go ahead and use. So we're going to go ahead and shrink myself down now so we can get started with this tutorial. All right, guys. So here we are. So we're here right now on my Fire TV Cube. So we're going to use an Amazon device, of course, the most common device people are using. So what we're going to do is go over to find and hit the search button and whatever device you're using, just look for the app search button you go into. So if you're using an Android device, you go to the app store and search the, the software in there or for Amazon you just go sleepy go to search and you can do it two ways you can talk to the, the remote and find it or you can just type in downloader so as soon as you type in do download is the first option there click on that and I'll bring you right here you open that up install it once you have it downloaded and installed go ahead open it up once you open it up it'll bring you to this home screen here First, it'll ask you to allow it to do stuff onto your device. And before you go any further, go into your settings. Let me go back and show you that real quick. You want to go to your once you install it, you want to go to your settings. Over here. You want to go down to you go to My Fire TV right here. Open that up. Once you're in My Fire TV, you want to go down to developer options. Open that up and go to install unknown apps click on it and go down until you find downloader make sure this is turned on when you first install any app it's, it's going to be an off situation like this so when it's off it's not going to let you install the apps directly from the app itself so in this case for send anywhere i want this on so i'm going to turn it on and all you have to do is click on it so so make sure you're able to install unknown apps from the app itself so you go to downloader, make you click on it. It'll be looking like this when you first get it. But when you click on it, it should be on now. All right. So once you do that, you're all set to go. So we're going to go back to the home screen, go to downloader, which I have already saved on my main screen here. Open that up. And then what you want to do is go up to here where it says enter URL or search term. I don't have a search term yet. So I'm going to go to here, the URL and then type in semi. To dot tech. Very, very simple. And that's all you're going to enter. Once you enter that address right there, it's very easy. You put in my name, just put a dot between the two and the T, and you're all set. And then we're going to go here to go. And once you're here, it's going to go ahead and open up my web page. Very, very simple. All right, there you go. This is my web page, the mobile version. And yes, you can see there, I did add the chat feature on my website. So you're able to chat with me directly. If I'm, if I'm online and I'm able to chat with you, I will, cause I get notifications on my phone, on my computer. So I'm able to chat if I can 
If I'm busy, I'm not going to be able to chat, of course, if I'm working or something like that. But if you want to chat with me to ask me questions, you can do it right there. A lot of people have been doing it. A lot of people have been asking me questions. They've been coming on the website, so I know there's traffic going to my webpage. So that's a good thing, you know? <laughs> so there you go. You can chat with me. It's easier to do on the computer or on the phone. But here, I wouldn't even try to do it on here. But anyways, <laughs> I didn't want to get off topic there. All right, so the way you get to the download menu on my webpage, because for some reason on here, it's a little bit hard to, because since I had the chat thing there now, it's hard for me to get to the to the menu for, through the hamburger menu. So I already had this, this from the beginning because it makes it easier to do it too. Just scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. Just scroll all the way down. You see, we're going through my page and everything. Once you get to the bottom, you want to scroll up a little bit more. And you're going to go to the quick links. You see that quick links right there? It gives you the home, APK downloads, buy merch, and connect with me. You basically do what it says. Connect, um, go to down APK downloads. Click on that. And it'll take you to my APK download page, which is very, very simple. You give it a second for it to load. And here it goes. And here are all the APKs, guys. Look at all the APKs. So I was telling you that I had another app that I want you to use if you want to download apps off your fire device or Android device. It was called TV Bros. Unfortunately, the Amazon store does not have it and you have to find it a different way. I believe I put it on the web page. So I'm going to go down to T and I'm going to install it while we're on here. All right. So let's go to TV. Let's find TV Bro. All right, so it's not, I went down too fast. Okay, so we just gotta look for it. Very easy. Right there. You see right there, it says TV Bro Web Browser. You wanna click on that. So this is a brand new app that we installed. And you see it downloaded. On a fire device, it's automatically gonna go load up the package installer. So all you wanna do is go right behind me, which is right over here. You see where it says, tall right now but it says install you want to go down to that hit install and boom that's it guys that's all you have to do to install any apps off of my web page so as you see that gave me the notification that's installed right there gives you the also the other notification saying that it's already installed as well and so very 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 simple guys so before you get out of here before you go and open up the app that you just installed i always recommend you go back one more and you go ahead and you still have this menu up go ahead and delete the app that you downloaded not the app itself from your system but the from your download folder the app so we're going to click on delete and that's it it's just so you could you don't use up all your space off your device and just leave space open because if you're using a fire stick or even a fire stick light you know they're only limited in space and not they're not that many space it's about i think eight gigs of space but after the os and everything's installed all the manufacturer stuff you only get about four or five gigs. So you're not really left with that much space. So you want to make sure you delete that. All right. So just to make sure that I installed, we're going to go back to the home page. We're going to go down to the apps, which uh, should, is right up here. My bad. Right here. This is open up all your apps. Open that up. And then we're going to go down to the bottom as it's going to be listed right there. There you go. If you open this up, I'll bring in a TV pro. And now, okay, tell you to save the search engine save it whatever it is i don't care so now we're using this app here for all my people that use android you can just go to your google play store download this app and you'll be right here if you download it now let me show you how to use this app to get apps off my web page very simple so here it, once you open it up and it's the first time you're just gonna get back out of here you can click back one time and i'll bring this menu up here in the in the app so you want to go over and type in my web page just like we did with downloader go to semi to dot tech very simple we're gonna go to next i found tv bro to be easier than downloader but a lot of people are more used to downloader so that's why a lot of people prefer that one so here you see the layout of my whole page is easier to view that's why i like using this one better now if you want to go ahead and do the longer way to get to the app menu i'll show you right now so you want to go over to others like right here click on others and you see the first one in others is apk download you click on that 
and it'll go ahead and take you over to my APK download page. And it's all listed there. But then again, if you want to get to this page, uh, the other way, like I showed you, you just go to downloads and, and quick links right down here and click on APK downloads. That's it. It'll take you right back to the same page. It's just going to take me right back to the top. And once you get here, you could just go ahead and search for APK you want to install. Uh, let's see. I want to do Anna Lily. It's a great one. This is a good speed tester. So I want to install this in my device. I'm going to click on there. Now you give it a second for it to download. Allow browser to access your phone. Yeah, because this is this is all the stuff to have it all download to your thing. Once it downloads, you see how I open up the sign menu. You want to scroll down. If the sign menu doesn't pop up, just hit back one time and it'll bring the sign menu open for you. And you want to go over to the download button. You see where the little arrow is with the pointing down to the stick on the bottom floor. You want to click on that. Once you click on that, you're going to see the APK listed right there. And all you got to do is click on it and you can install it right there on your device. Simple as that, guys. Look at that. See, I, remember when I told you make sure you enable unknown sources to be installed? That's what it's doing right here. That's why they didn't let me do it. So if you forget to do that, no worries. It'll give you the, it'll tell you the option to do it. So you go to settings and this works with downloader as well. It does the same thing. Go to install unknown apps. I already showed you how to get there. And you go down to the app that we need to enable. See how TV bro is off. You're going to turn it on and then we're going to go back and go back into the app again and hit that install. We don't have to download again since we already installed it and you do the same process. Go to install which is right behind me and it's installing and that's it guys you're done you're completely done and guys that's it you have to do to install this any app off my webpage onto your device that's how easy it is i show you two ways guys the two easiest ways and my two preferred ways i prefer tv bro as you saw it gives you more of a bigger layout of the screen than it does with the downloader that's why I prefer TV Bro, but if you want to use Downloader, I showed you that first and it's easy for you to use. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video and everything I had to show you today, guys, with my website and using TV Bro or Downloader to get any kit that I install on my website. So if you like everything I show you today and everything I've done on this channel, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Show me all the love and support you guys love to show the channel. Also, guys, don't forget to hit the share button because sharing is caring. And we want to make sure everybody's aware of everything we do on this channel and what we got to offer. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment box down below. I'll get to you as soon as I can, when I can, as fast as I can. And if you still haven't done so to the end of this video, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified every time I drop great videos like this one or when I go live. And trust me, guys, you never, ever want to miss a thing. And until next time, guys, this is Junior AK Semi signing out from Semi 2 Tech. Peace.